Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Tuesday, last day of the month. Be this going to four. Yep, look at that. Where is she? There she is. Yeah, I knew she had. Well, she was a little shake. Um, I told you that earlier. It's nasty little stock right there. Um, news came out on it. Obviously, they think they get into that monitoring doctor business. But uh, that was a great trade this morning at nine four at seven forty five. You know, we all jumped in. That's why early bird gets the money. And then you had the eight o'clock uh, big spike right there. That's where the volume kicks in. And she kind of didn't do anything for about an hour, which is kind of nasty. I mean, she had a little bit of a pop here. She was coming in and out. Very, very volatile stock. But um, if you were here earlier and you got in when we all got in, uh, right around the 265, 280, you probably did pretty well on it. And uh, that one actually worked out pretty nicely for us. But I want you to keep in mind, VVUS is a very, very volatile stock. Okay, they, ha they, uh, they did a reverse stock split. Very, very volatile stock. Um, don't let this... You know, this three dollar, four dollar stock fool you. Ben made fifteen cents on it. Yeah, good. Listen, th th don't try to hit the big, the big um, home runs with this stock. Um, it, it was at eight o'clock this morning. After that, it's just you buy in the bid, sell in the offer. Just scalp the stock. But um, and then there was the other one that we we saw this morning. Also, that got crushed last night. This thing got decimated. Stock was a look. It's down eighty six percent. I mean, after hours, Josh calls me at the, end, at the end of the day, and we're talking about this stock. Look at this, 14 all the way down. It dropped to like, I don't know, three or something like that. Starting to make a little bit of a comeback. But listen, this is why we don't hold positions overnight. But this has been a stock. We've been trading it a, a lot. And uh, it's not really going too well. What a volatile stock right there that was. So anyway, um, listen, regarding about, there's a lot of stuff that's going on. Before we start talking about go through the watch list. Um, I just want to make a couple of announcements really quick. Don't forget today, there's a lot of classes going on today here at Cybertrain University. First, um, you know, at 11, at a, uh, 12 o'clock, we, we have a Traders Talk with Josh. Uh, for all you new trial members, that is actually one lesson you do get. And uh, it's going to be an exciting one. We, every week, everyone looks forward to it. Traders Talk, where we talk about some stocks that some of the students traded, um, what actually is moving, you know, uh, talking about mistakes. Remember, Cyber Training University's job is not what most people think it's about. We don't teach you how to make money. We teach you how to stop losing it. That's what it's all about. Now, and then, most importantly, uh, yeah, it's at, I'm sorry, it's at 11, 11.05 Eastern, and it'll begin about, it's about an hour long. Now, the next most important thing is we have Tom Sosnoff from Tastyworks, the founder of Thinkorswim, is coming back. Again, a very good friend of mine. You all know him very well. Uh, this is the guy who helped build Thinkorswim, sold for like a gazillion dollars to TD Ameritrade, started a new one, better platform. He's one of the best options traders I ever met, known him for almost over 15, 20 years. Uh, actually, when they started Thinkorswim, when it first came out. And uh, he's coming back again. Don't miss this opportunity because we're going uh, to talk to him a lot about what's going on with this coronavirus and stuff like that. If you remember, if you watched the old video that we did with him over a month ago, I did bring it up. And, uh, you know, he was very skeptical about it, really didn't understand it as much as you think it was going to be as if anyone thought it was going to be this bad. But look forward to it. And then I'm going to do an event regarding about how to manage your money. Uh, regarding about during this coronavirus uh, right after that. So it's going to be a two-part event for tomorrow, uh, for this afternoon. Now let's talk about what happened regarding about uh, yesterday and today. Uh, anyway, there were a couple of nice little moving stocks yesterday. And you know what? It, it was Monday. Not really a lot going on. You know, it, the market did, didn't do absolutely nothing, nothing until the afternoon. And there were a couple of stocks that moved, you know, nothing great. I mean, what was it, OMI? That one uh, had, a, had a pretty decent move right there. Let me fix the time frame over here. No, from here. So that one, you know, had a, it didn't have a great move, but, you know, it moved pretty nicely. You know, I put, I put it back on my watch list. Uh, that one had a little bit of big move. It moved pretty nicely going in the afternoon. SPCB, that one was an early, early cheap little mover. 
right out of the gate. It, it started a little late, around 10 o'clock, but that went from a dollar to about almost $2, that one. Uh, a nice little level one stock. It was kind of slow, though, was this one right here, ATHX. Nice mover, inexpensive, 230 to about 260 It wasn't none of those home runs like the following week for everybody. And you know what? Just like I teach in class, that's okay. That's okay. You don't have to trade unless, you, you, you know, if there's nothing really out there. So yesterday, what we call here at Cyber Trade University, it was the nickels and dimes day. Now, it's Tuesday, last day of the pay period. Some of you probably don't know what that means, okay? Well, how could it be the last day of the pay period when it's a Tuesday? Well, we want to close out the end of the month. So I don't know if you're going to find any crazy news that's going to go on. A lot of people are going to want to just close out their month. It's been a great volatile month. Unless the company comes out with news, uh, then they'll basically trade it and they'll do something with it. Uh, like this VVUS maybe, you know, like this is probably it's trading on its own, you know, its own news, whatever it is. I mean, I think I, I checked out the news on VVUS. Uh, VVUS, I guess they're getting to the doctor monitoring system. They made an announcement. We all know what happened to that other one. Stock took off. I mean, that's basically pretty smart of them. But uh, we trade the stock so many times. Just be very, very careful. Volatile, volatile stock, okay? Uh, and, then, uh, and then basically, the big news this morning, though, I would have to admit, the, the breaking news is the cruise companies. The cruise stocks, okay, I know everybody's caught the bottom, um, thought we caught the bottom on certain stocks. I mean, we did really good with, you know, some of the casino stocks, um, airlines, eh, okay. Uh, the best one was probably Boeing. You know, that one, I mean, that was a home run right there. But I think some people try to catch a lot of these shipping stocks. And if you watch my, the, uh, the past events that we did, and you've obviously been here for a while, I'm just like, you know what? The rumor has it like these these um these companies going to have a tough time making a comeback. Now, two, three years ago, I, I, from now, listen, I'll be honest with you. People forget, you know, I, I come, I, I remember 9-11, okay? People forget what 9-11 was all about. After like three, four years, you know, other than the, the, the first responders that were there, no one really knows and really, you know, it, it was 20 years ago. Um, people forget. People forget really quickly, you know? Um but they're not forgetting right now with the coronavirus, right? But I can tell you this. The stocks that are really getting affected is, um, I'm going to bring up CCL. And you, you could see these stocks right here. I mean, we saw the stock right around 9. It ran all the way to 20. But look where it is now. It dropped all the way back down to 10. It's almost back to where it started. Uh, yeah, Benio says, uh, yeah, that one. I, I was going to bring that one up too also, Ben. Um, NCLH. I mean, they're trying to make a little comeback, but look, look at the chart right here. I mean, look at the Norwegian Cruise Line. The stock was at 9. It ran to 20. It was a double, but look where it is now. I mean, it's almost right back to where it started. They, they, they're going to have a problem. So you have that one, and you also have RCL, Royal Caribbean. Once again, that was a great trade. It was at 25, went to 50. They all doubled. They all doubled in about a week, but now look at it. Some people thought that this was the bottom. I personally did not do any swing trades on this one. The only swing trades that I did was Disney. Uh, I did CSQ and I did the um, Boeing. Uh, those are really the only ones I, you know, always had an opportunity. I thought Boeing was a steal. I really think so. Um, so anyway, but these 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 cruise companies. I mean, you heard about the other cruise stock uh, company that's there's two boats that are floating out there and they don't know where they want these people to dock. First of all, who the hell goes on a, you know, a cruise, you know. I mean, I know it was a day before they made an announcement, but with all this stiff stuff going on, I mean, like, you know, even a day before we knew it was a catastrophe. Well, now these people are stuck out there. It's been like two, three weeks. I feel bad for them. But, uh, Grant, your AAL is taken off. American Airlines? Yeah, they got a little bit of pop right there. But if you look at this, some of these things also took a little bit of a hit too. All right? So we need to find out. Now, listen. We're not out of the woods yet with this whole coronavirus. So please keep in mind that after listening to what the president said on, on Sunday, that was pretty scary. If we didn't do anything, they said, could have been over 2 million deaths. Um, because they started doing something, they're expecting over 100, 100 200,000 deaths here in the United States. And unfortunately, in my area, I've been quarantined ever since. I haven't left the house in like two and a half weeks. I could live in my house for about another six months. 
Um, I bought so much food. <laughs> I got my chickens to keep me alive, make me eggs all day. Uh, anyway, but regarding about, uh, you know, what's going on, I mean, listen, they, they're expecting Easter. It's going to be pretty bad. So there's still going to be, I, I think there's still going to be some opportunities out there regarding about certain shorts. The market's still going to be volatile. I mean, we really haven't gone anywhere. I mean, the market's down 118 points. We were up about 100, 100 we were up like almost 200 this morning. We were up about almost 600 yesterday. So I would be really, really cautious as a day trader going out there and, um, you know, getting too crazy. So as of right now, it is Monday. I mean, Tuesday. It is the best time to trade, but it is the last day of the pay period. I'm not expecting that much volatility going on. But uh, I think by Wednesday, but definitely Thursday, we're going to get something. But, uh, but it looks like the crew stocks are obviously not doing too well. So anyway, the stock's on the watch list. We got VVUS. Boom, it broke over $4 finally. Okay. That one. Um, if you looked at my chat, I said it earlier. I said, you know what? This VVUS looks like a shake. It really does. Um, really, really does look like a shake. And they're pretty good at it too. And we talked about it in class yesterday. What else you got going on? EYEG. This one's gapped up pretty big, but she kind of ba she came back down. I don't know what this is. It went from 780 down to 620. She's trying to make a little bit of a move right now, but she she did that, that one looks pretty good. AMRN, we all know about that one right there too. That one just got decimated. I'm looking at a, a dead cat bounce on that one. OMI. You know, this one's gapped up about 11%. Got a nice little move, nothing great. SGBX, another one I found on the, on the watch list. This one's up about 91%. Uh, that's some pretty big move right there. It is a bulletin board, a penny, a, a bulletin board stocks. You could tell by looking at the uh, matrix on the right. You're not getting everything's like tenths of a penny. So just because stocks it doesn't need to be under a dollar to make it a penny stock. I mean, these stocks even at two dollars, five dollars, they're still penny stocks. So we'll be very skeptical about this one. But because it's up a lot, I put it on the watch list. And then obviously, you know, we have all the cruise companies, CCL, RCL, NCLH. They're all going to move. They all look like they're going to have some good volatility this morning. But as of right now, if you're with me this morning, we're all doing pretty well on that VVUS. I had it a good price. I said it earlier when I spoke to you guys uh, early in the morning. I said, you know what? I own it at a good price. I'm going to hold it for a shake. So. Good thing I did, but uh, it's kind of hard unless you have it at a good price to kind of deal with the volatility on it. But anyway, it still looks strong, so I want to keep a close eye on the stock. I think, it, you know, let, let, let's see what's happening, but just be very careful. It does got nasty shakes in it. Uh, all right, in the meantime, everybody, don't forget, today, very big day for training. You got Traders Talk with Josh at 11.05, okay? So all you new um, members here, that our trial is also, it's a very important lesson. That's probably the only lesson you'll get in this trading room uh, where we do a little education. So you had that. And this afternoon at 4.15, my good friend, Tom Sosnoff, the founder of Thinkorswim, the, new, uh, the owner of Tasty, Tasty Trade and Tasty Works. You've seen his TV show. Great, great presenter. Great um, analyst. Great trader, more or less. And uh, he's going to be coming on right after that. And then I'm going to be doing a follow-up about how to trade your money in this coronavirus market. So don't miss that. Make sure you are registered for it. You can get it on our, uh, right off our homepage or our website. Yeah, I do see a little Fausto flag right there, Ken. Absolutely. Like I said, it still looks strong. It still looks strong. Listen, I, you know what, the, you know what the, uh, the tip of the day is? Trade one share. Trade one share. That's all you got to do. One share. What do you have to lose? Demo means nothing to you. You know, everyone's like, uh, I, I hate talking to people like, oh, how's work? Well, I'm still practicing, you know, yeah, how long? Oh, about six months. Six months? How the hell do you pay your bills after six months? You know, come on. One share, guys. Just trade one share and then go from there. Good luck, everybody. Happy trading. We'll see you back at 11. We'll start commentating here in the room in about 10 minutes, all right? Don't go anywhere. And uh, for everyone here watching YouTube or on, on our YouTube Live or our Facebook Live, if you want to come and join us today, feel free to come and register on our website for the upcoming uh, events. Good luck, everybody. Just look, look, listen, look, listen and learn and be safe.